Hey Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your May reading, May 2020. Let's see what's up with you guys. What are you going through? How is that feeling for you? And how are all of these astrological alignments in May going to be affecting you? This goes for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guys, if you would like to be a part of this channel, I would love to have you here. Please subscribe to this channel to make my day <laughs> and put a lovely smile upon your face. I do a monthly reading for Taurus and every other sign. And then I have the Pisces Club in this channel as well. So you can expect to have a lot of Pisces readings. So if you have a rising Pisces, moon in Pisces, or Venus in Pisces, then you're definitely going to enjoy this channel. Universe, speak to us about Taurus Collective for May. How is Taurus going to be feeling in May? Taking the cards that fall on the table specifically, not the ones that flip. This is the Unicorn Tarot, by the way. Taurus. Cards are very silent for Taurus, I have to say. So far we've got the Page of Wands and we've got the Emperor. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries perhaps, maybe a Sag, maybe a Leo. Maybe some of you guys are feeling so intensely um, passionate about going outside and having like adventures and traveling and getting back to your regular activities. Maybe some of you guys are craving these um, free spirit lifestyles intensely. Some of you guys could also be dealing with someone who is very authoritative, someone who is very um, demanding. Maybe you are this person this month, maybe you are feeling very demanding. Maybe you're feeling a little bit like you got too much fire within you and that energy needs to come out somehow. Maybe due to the quarantine you're not being able to explore as much as you would like or live intensely as intensely as, as you would like. <laughs> you're not the only one, Taurus, you're not the only sign that's going through that. We're going through that as a collective, like the whole global situation. Messages for Taurus. Thank you, thank you. Messages for Taurus. May for Taurus. Come on, cards. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so the fact that the cards are kind of silent could also be an indicator that you want action, you want movement, you want things to unfold, you want things to happen. And maybe the pace of it is just not enough for you at this point. We got the Eight of Wands. You want things to move quickly. You want fast moving energies, fast moving action, progress, success, fast moving manifestation. This is also a card of traveling. So maybe you're being a little bit impatient with um, travel. Maybe some of you guys had travel plans that are being postponed because of this and you're kind of like very eager. This, this travel plans are going to happen, so don't you worry about that. They're actually going to happen sooner than you think. Got the Seven of Cups. Lots of confusion, lots of foggy energy. <sighs> Feeling like you want to do a lot, but there's not a lot to be done. Feeling like you want to make decisions, move forward, choose things, get ahead. But then it's like, all you see is this blurry fog around you. Maybe in your mind space, maybe in your energy. It's like everyone is kind of like suspended in the air. I'm, su I'm surprised I'm not seeing the hang hangman here. It's like you don't know how to move forward. You don't know what steps to take. And this is in some shape or form disempowering for you, Taurus. I see the Emperor here, but I see a sad Emperor. I see someone who's just like, oh, damn, like, what's, what's the point? 
Obviously, this reading is not going to apply to every one of you guys. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If this is not your reading, this is just not your reading. But this is a little bit of a preview of how Taurus in general are going to be sort of feeling in this month of May. So also, maybe right now, at the beginning of May, you see this reading and maybe it doesn't really all make sense. But then by mid-May or the end of May, you're going to be like, oh, <laughs> alright, I get it now. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with an Aries, a Leo, a Sag, fire sign. Others of you could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Some of you guys could be related to third party situations. But I feel like that's a very little amount of you guys though. Things are well from what I'm seeing here. But it's very easy for you to get frustrated with the circumstances that are happening right now. And I know that this seems very biased in the sense that I'm talking a lot about the quarantine and how things are unfolding uh, worldwide due to the virus. But know that this is not something that I'm bringing up in all the readings. This is something that is coming through for you. Things are okay. You do have the Ten of Cups. So you are headed towards your happiness. You are headed towards celebration, reasons to celebrate, success, joy, lots of beautiful things, okay? So these are coming. These are coming. Connection with friends, social interactions that bring you joy, happiness, emotional fulfillment of all sorts. This is all coming in the near future. And it will come quickly. It's like you're going to feel like nothing is moving, nothing is moving, you're getting frustrated, it feels so stuck, and then, just suddenly, out of nowhere, things get better. But before that happens, I do see you guys struggle, struggling a little bit with your emotions. At the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups, it's easy to fall prey to the negativity, it's easy to see all the things that could be better all the things that could go differently, everything that is wrong, everything that you should fix, it's going to be very easy for you to fall into this energy. At the beginning, up until the 20th of the month is what I'm hearing. So just keep that in mind. Try to be as positive as you can. Something that is really going to help you um, is to channel all of this fire that you have creatively. Some of you guys need to work out. Maybe you don't have any uh, fitness goals whatsoever. Maybe you don't like to work out. Maybe you're not looking to lose weight or tone up or anything like that. But just the channeling of that fire energy, bringing that energy out through physical movement is going to make you feel amazing. It's really going to like turn the whole thing around if you let it. Now, Maybe, as I mentioned, you don't particularly have anything that you want to do as a workout. Dance. Just put your favorite music on every day, just one song, and dance your heart out. Or, you know, maybe do a video or do some push-ups, you know, whatever. Whatever it is, um, make sure that you do something every single day. Every single day. Because you're going to have too much energy here. And if you don't channel it, it's going to transform into anxiety. Is going to transform into messy negative thinking that can really drain your energy and bring you into the space of heartache okay and it is not necessary you can definitely bypass this through physical activity okay specifically now this is also a good time for you to evaluate your options granted you're not going to be able to make the clearest choices right now you you shouldn't even try to make important decisions right now but it is important for you to just observe the options, weigh the options, think about the options, let them marinate in your mind. And try to simply see things for what they are, try to be as objective as you can as far as the vision that you have towards what is happening in your life, okay? And this is going to be the recipe for success, Taurus, you're going to be more than alright, but do expect this little confusion, um, heartache, or just negativity. And remember that you can 
kind of like allow your body to digest that or channel it through working out. <laughs> okay, so that is very specific, guys. Um, this is the reading that I have for you guys for May. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. I would definitely encourage you to come back to it if it didn't resonate because it may resonate in the future. I'm going to leave my website under this video. You can check out the online courses that I offer, Past Life Regression Course and the Abundance Blueprint. Mm, what else? If you ever feel like donating, guys, thank you so much for all of you who have donated 99 cents. It makes such a huge difference. Special thanks, obviously, for all of you who have donated more. I, I can't thank you enough. If you ever feel like donating and supporting this channel so I can continue to bring uh, readings monthly for every single zodiac sign, not only Pisces, make sure to click on that join button right now and see the menu of donations that get displayed. If you feel like it, you can donate. It's definitely not necessary, but highly appreciated. Okay, guys, I love you and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.